father's full Nigerian and my mum's half Ghanaian and half Canadian. She's mixed race, so she's half white and half black. And that makes me three quarters black and a quarter white. I was actually born in London, England, and I was raised in London, so that's where I'm from. I study mathematics at university. To take photos, I use my Nikon D5000, my trusty camera. I love it. It's got this flip screen, so I can take portrait shots of myself, and I can also like take photographs of like high planes. And it's just a really easy camera to learn. It's really, really like easy when you're learning how to, you know, play around with it. And yeah, that's what I use for my photos. For my videos, I actually use this as well, but then I prefer using my MacBook because of the running time. The only thing I don't really like about this is the fact that it only records five minutes at a time, so it's quite, you know, it cuts off quite a lot, so it's just much easier just to record with a MacBook. To edit my photos, I use Photoshop CS4, and to edit my movies and my videos, I use iMovie by Mac. And before November last year, I was using Windows Movie Maker, and that's because I had a PC, but now I have a Mac, and that's what I use to edit my videos. One thing I got straight in my mind was, I can't always control, well I can't control what people think of me, I can't be a mind controller, I can't make you like me, I can't make you hate me. What I can do is make me like me, and if I like me, then no one else has kind of a say in that, and haters, I think, try to sort of like, push whatever they hate about themselves onto another person who's confident about the way that they are and the way that they live their lives and you find haters in a setting like YouTube and like blogging and um, you know they come in and they, they troll into your video and they write a little comment sitting behind their look the computers most of them don't even make videos and um, it's quite sad when you think about it because they have all these insecurities and instead of seeking help they try and make themselves feel better by bringing other people down. And I, for one, I feel sorry for them. I mean, I, I don't get upset. I don't, I don't get angry when I get a hate comment. I just generally, I generally feel sorry for them. And it's really, 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 like, you know, sad that they can't be confident with the way that they look and they can't be confident with the way that they live. And they have to sort of like project this insecurity on other people. Everyone has insecurities and everyone has ways of dealing with it. And I guess haters, the best way they can deal with it is to put it on other people. Um, I approve most of my comments on YouTube purely because I don't want to have like an environment of hate. So I'd much rather just block the hate, com the hate commenter and delete the comment so I don't have to stress other people who come and watch my videos and take the positive out of thing, um, things out of it and then it makes them feel kind of horrible when they see like a hate comment and they try to sort of like defend me. I think that's really nice but I mean I don't want them to stress themselves out so I just block and I delete any hate. I don't pay them any attention, I don't let them get to me. However, it, if it is constructive criticism, I would take it so that I can make my videos better, or I can speak in a certain way, maybe, you know, do you know what I mean? So if it's constructive, I'll take it. But if it's completely stupid and random, I just delete it and block the person. I'm a free spirit when it comes to music. I really like all types of music. As long as it kind of gives me that feeling like, you know, like this is really good music and I can groove to it, or I can listen to it and I can enjoy it. Um, I don't have a specific genre that I listen to. I listen to all kinds of music. I listen to R&B, hip hop, um, rock, pop, classical, jazz, you know, soul music. I listen to all of it and I enjoy music. I love music. I, I don't know what I'd do without music, to be honest. Um, it keeps me going. I can dance to it when I'm upset or I can like listen to it when I'm falling asleep or when I'm revising for my exams. I listen to classical music because that helps me. And uh, music's just a really, really great thing, and I really just like all kinds of music. Yes, this is my real hair. And yes, it is relaxed. I relax it every two to three months now. I used to do it very, very frequently. Like, I would do it like every two months, or even less than that. But then I just wanted to keep my hair um, free from chemicals for a longer period of time. So when I came to university, I um, I used to stretch up my relaxing period 
and relax it maybe every three to four months. I did like last year, I think I stayed with that relaxer in my hair for about five months and um, it grew so much and because my natural hair is quite wavy and oh, it was really, really annoying for some for, for some time. But then um, I finally got to relax. But I tried to stretch it out as long as possible because I don't really like too much chemicals in my hair. The relaxer always burns me always I go really red and I start to tear up and I start shaking and I don't know I just have a really really sensitive scalp and like I wish they can like invent something else or maybe something that's less painful <laughs> um I was thinking about going natural like just doing my own natural hair and like growing out my natural hair and then snipping off the relax but I don't have time to do that to be honest I'm, I'm too busy with uni and other things to be taking care of my hair like that I much rather just and go like it's quite easy to maintain it like in this form so I'm gonna keep it that way for a while I'm five feet and three inches so that's how tall I am the only piercings I have are on my earlobes and I don't have any tattoos um, I was at some point thinking about getting a tattoo but I'm just such a wuss when it comes to pain <laughs> and I really so many people have told me that it's not that painful to do it. it's like a you know a pricking pain but it's like threading your eyebrows like I, th I can thread my eyebrows really like I don't care about that kind of pain but I, do, I, do, I just don't know how it would be to get like a piercing or a tattoo I don't know I might get one I might not get one um, but I, I don't know maybe when I get my mind over you know the whole pain issue I would but for the time being no